Ladies and gentlemen, this is Marlo8550 once again, and this time, we're doing the Qatari. Hope you enjoy. And here we go, once again, check this out, I'm on the Qatari this time. He's level 20, and I did not forget that I wasn't going to do anything to him, actually. I was just going to keep him as is, and honestly, this is just how I play it, like always. But let me show you what's up. Now, before, the Qatari used to suck immensely. Uh, the reason was that basically it was very hard to get shields. Uh, it was very hard to get the guard that uh, most warriors are able to get. Um, and honestly, I really, really hated the Qatari with a very, very, very great passion. I honestly hate him. But then the new update came out or I'm not sure which update came out because I'm just currently doing it now on a 1.08 update but the update did come out and what that did was make it so that the Qatari for every time they hit an enemy any enemy they gain guard automatically this changed the way I played with the Qatari completely from being a defensive player where I would always basically make sure I always had guard with certain moves I would go in and get the moves I switched all that shit out and I got all the main attacking moves even even the main last move that y you should get normally I don't even use because I'm doing so much fucking damage but uh, let's get into this and I'll show you why I love this character so much more than I used to as you can see, I have that last point because I was planning on respecting this bitch. But let's just uh, go into the moves. You're going to need Charging Bull, obviously. You get more shields that way. You're going to need Mighty Blow. Does a hell of a lot of damage, especially when, you know, uh, Charging Bull is there. Then you're going to go... <clears throat> not into tactics. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, like, going too fast. You're going to need Whirlwind. And you're going to need Earth Shaking Strike. Like I said, this is how I play, okay? <clears throat> now, let's start off from the beginning. Upgrade this automatically. Upgrade it. L less, less stamina. I would, uh, I didn't in the beginning, but I would definitely upgrade this. This is a very easy move to use, and you will use it all the time for the sake of always having guard up. <clears throat> you go down for every hit of multiple this is obvious since it's on the way I'm just reading this for you clear a path you know multiple hits you get more stamina you can do more moves and you can do more damage uh, get mighty blow automatically this helps a lot because when you use charging bull they get knocked down and when you use mighty blow they do uh, increased damage bonus 200% and you're gonna want to upgrade it even further because it costs less and also it does more damage <clears throat> then you're gonna wanna get warriors resolve just keep going down the line this of course you want flow of battle for critical hits and you will always be doing critical hits <clears throat> then opportunists like I said another thing you just you know you're getting more and more just towards the path of what we need then you're gonna have to make a decision a split decision which one you're gonna use first are you gonna use earth shaking strike or are you gonna use whirlwind I went with earth shaking strike first only because I wanted to try it and I never tried it before and then I upgraded that shit and does this thing do a lot of damage not only does it do a lot of damage to a single target but when it's upgraded it can be used as kinda like a, a a flame wall like the elementalist can uh, it's really easy to use and it's I like it it just does a lot of damage then I got whirlwind 
this is pretty obviously it's AOE damage who who doesn't want AOE damage and of course I upgraded it making it even do more damage and and with all these moves especially with whirlwind since you're hitting more enemies and you're hitting everything you're always gaining guard this is the main part that you want to concentrate on is gaining guard and honestly uh, unless it's a, a guardian or e even a guardian if it's a, a main boss with world when you're basically gonna just be infinitely gaining some sort of guard especially when there's more units around <clears throat> then I did f fever and then I kind of stopped at that point like I kind of stopped right here or you know I actually stopped at um, opportunist and I didn't upgrade any other ones so I ended up going into the next one I just did a couple things some armor bonus you know it'll cost you a deep reserve you need this more stamina more damage and a guard smasher this I like because a lot of the the units especially the dragon likes to have guard um, the rest of them you don't really need, but uh, I like having the fear chance, and then I like having fear fever, so you can run faster, chase down enemies, and last but not least, you know, more damage. What else can I say? And like I said, I normally respect my character. That's where there there is that extra one point left. And honestly, that's it. And Katari now is probably one of my favorite characters. So like always. Uh, at the end of the video or coming up in a second will be my character uh, basically getting kicking out